All right, let's update you on what's going on here real quick, Mike. Um, now, I did have shafts that came off the side of this. This would sit up here and be the drive shaft. Yeah, it's in different colors. Deal with it. Um, and then there would be these shafts that come out right here that these particular bearings would sit on. So these shafts would come off the side. And that would be what I had pushing up against the back of the hub in order to keep it from, from pushing through the hub as the fan pulled up. So what I did is I made this adaptation. And I'll show you what it's for. I put these bearings here just to kind of set this here so you can sort of I can sort of show you an example of how it will work. So I set this up to where it's perfect for this bearing. So now, as you can see, you set the outer part of that bearing here, the inner part of the bearing inside of it, and then put this over the hexagonal guide shaft that goes into there and glue it in place. Now, the reason why I glue it in place is because you can easily break it off if you need to. So that that's going to be how the new hub and the new forward uh, thrust bearing works. So it's not a flat thrust bearing. It's a, um, what do they call it? It's a tapered roller bearing. And that's basically to make sure that everything stays in line as it's spinning. So the collet would attach to that, the motor, so on and so forth. And then the rest of the outer casing is indexed for here like like you see here the stator part yeah, as you you can kind of see it <laughs> it goes into the hub like so and that center hub part is this here so that's the whole idea so instead of having it'll have these interior bearings where it rolls on in the shaft here uh, but the the other bearing will sit here as opposed to having those exterior shafts sticking out of the of the actual main shaft which can cause issues at least with that roller bearing and then the keeper that goes over it um and, and holds that bearing in place and then gets glued to the back of the shaft we don't have to worry about it getting pushed out it'll keep it nice and sturdy and everything will be nice and and, and tight that's what we want we don't want loose we want tight i'm gonna leave it right there <laughs>